and hello my friends. In today's video, we're gonna talk about a commonly overlooked and just otherwise completely missed feature that happens a lot in beauty and uh, portrait photography, um, specifically when it comes to a makeup technique and a makeup uh, consideration when, when you're shooting headshots or you're shooting beauty. Just making sure if you're working with a model that already knows how to do makeup or if you're working with a makeup artist, um, that's doing makeup for your, your session, making sure that they don't forget to put makeup and contouring, highlighting, um, and color correction, not only on the neck, but then really high, if the biggest importance is making sure they contour the collarbones as well. Uh, so the image that you have on screen is kind of a, uh, a after image, it's not edited, but it's an after image of what, what we're gonna be kind of discussing and talking about today, of how you can pop out those collarbones. Because the thing is, like when you when you shoot beauty and you, you shoot these kind of headshots, if you're using a really low crop top, ultimately this entire section of the person's skin and their body is going to be showcased, and you don't want there to be a lot of blemishes and uneven tones and color in, in those specific areas because it's going to be very distracting and it's going to cause you a lot of extra unneeded editing and uh, post processing. So um, let's kind of just jump right in. Um, like I said, this is the the after image. But I'm going to show you guys just the before without adding any of the contouring and highlighting color correction to the chest, uh, what that looks like, and then the after. So these two images that we have on screen right now are on the left right here uh, is the before image before we, ha we added some of that uh, color correction and the contouring to make sure that the face, the makeup, and the contouring, and the highlight, and the blush, and all that stuff looks and it translates all the way down to the chest because this entire area is part of our frame that we're cropping. I'm not going to be cropping it in super tight. This is just the frame as is. So uh, making sure that entire area is the similar tone and texture and, and everything pops in that area is really important. So on left over here, you'll see the collarbones uh, where I'm mousing over. Uh, they're not really they're not really popping out. Not only that, there's a lot of uneven tones and things of that nature in terms of just like the, the saturation in her skin. Um, and then over here, I just talked to my makeup artist like, hey, make sure we're adding contouring and blush and color correction on the, uh, the collarbones as well because we're going to see that in the final image. And this is what happens. So you can see the difference right there of how much the collarbones pop compared to the image on, on the, uh, on le on the left-hand side right there. So uh, that's the difference right there. And uh, going back over into the final images, um, I'll show you guys how they actually, how much of a difference it actually does make. So. Uh, this right here is with that addition of the the color correction and the the popping from the contouring on doing makeup um, But this is just something that gets over overlooked honestly way too often um, This was something that I was overlooking for at least a year and a half um, I didn't really discover about this technique maybe until two or three months ago And it's just something I wasn't even thinking about and, and that's probably the reason why I want to do a video today Just to make sure that's something on your radar for those of you that are shooting beauty that are shooting headshots um, that are shooting this kind of this kind of cosmetic focused uh, beauty uh, kind of work where you're showcasing um, this area just making sure that also gets uh, addressed in terms of makeup as well because it is important um, and we don't need you to spend more time in Photoshop or Affinity Photo or whatever your editing platform that you choose is. Uh, we don't need you to be in there longer than you really absolutely need to be in there. So my goal, if I can, if I can make the in-camera shot better for you guys by just giving you some techniques and things to uh, think about and consider, absolutely, that's why I'm here. So I'm absolutely there to help you guys out. Um, and for those of you that are curious, this, uh, this, sh this is a shoot that I did maybe about two weeks ago now, uh, Model Micah. I will put a, the links to all the, uh, the creative team that I've been using out here in Las Vegas um, and the links to their social media so you can check them out. Um, but that kind of wraps up today's video. And um, as always, you know, hit that subscribe button down below, follow us along, you know, actually while you're down there, hit that bell button as well so you can get notified when we're dropping new content on our channel. Um, and uh, outside of that, my friends, peace out.